This conference will now be recorded. Welcome to yet another meeting of Graceful Touch reaches out and helps to let people know who is in Rapid City. Today, I have with me a very special guest. Um, I think it was last September when Graceful Touch was in the process of trying to find a new home. We were in a bind because we didn't think that we had any until Black Hills Health and Wellness came forward and the fine folks there. Today, I am working, I'm speaking to Dr. Jamie Shearer. Welcome, Dr. Jamie. Thank you for having me. Happy me. Awesome. So I'd like to know a little bit more, Dr. Jamie, about you and you know why you got into chiropractics, um, how long you've been there, and just tell me a little bit about your, your backstory, shall we call it. Yeah, fantastic. So uh, I grew up in a medical family. My father's a chiropractor and his brother is a medical doctor. Uh, both of them have uncles that are chiropractors, medical doctors. So there's a whole bunch of doctors in the family. And I always knew that I wanted to do something in medicine. Uh, where that led me is kind of to where we are today. Uh, I, I really wasn't interested in the overnight shifts, long hours of ERs or anything that, to that extent. So that pushed me a little bit more to chiropractic. And that's how I picked this field of medicine. So I've been a chiropractor for 11, 12 years now. Most of that time has been spent in Rapid City, South Dakota, where I grew up as well. I did my undergrad at the University of Wyoming in Laramie, Wyoming, and my chiropractic in uh, Los Angeles, California. So I got to see two polar opposites of uh, the world you live in, I guess, from a small town in the mountains in Wyoming to the LA basin. And that really pushed me back to my home state of Western South Dakota, which I feel very fortunate to still be able to practice in. Awesome. Yes, yes, absolutely. Now, are all chiropractors the same? No, there's gonna be a, a pretty big difference. That's like asking if all lawyers are the same would be a, a good enough. equation to that. Uh, there are different subsets of chiropractic, you know, techniques that a chiropractor will use. At Black Hills Health and Wellness Center, we're more of a diversified clinic. So all of our doctors have been to extensive training in multiple techniques, and we use all of them on a daily basis. Not every single patient can get the same thing and the same results. So what we have found is having that diversified approach, trying to encompass as much edu continuing education as we can has helped the patient the most. And then we have a pretty happy focus on rehab, uh, things to that extent to help the body heal. Awesome, awesome. Now, within that whole process, you, you, you mentioned there's a diversification. Um, coming down specifically to you, where do you fit in that diversification? So we really are as diversified as you probably can be. Uh, active care rehab is a big emphasis like we had mm -hmm. talked about. So with most of our patients, there's some type of strengthening, stretching, conditioning, the musculoskeletal system along with the chiropractic. But there really isn't a specific technique that we focus on more than any. Uh, if patients are familiar with chiropractic, they might have been adjusted with drop pieces, sacral occipital technique, Gonstead maneuvers, activator maneuvers. And we really use all of those on a day daily basis. So we truly try to stay as a wide envelope to help as many people as we can. Understood. Now, what do you see, you know, as we look down the five years, 10 years, the future of chiropractic care, where do you see it going? What do you see the, 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 the good things that are happening and maybe if there's a bump in the road that you see coming for, for the area. Um, what do you see the future? I guess that's what I'm getting at. What do you see the future of chiropractic both in Rapid City and in general? So for the future of it, you'll I really do think we'll see a much higher utilization and that's what we try to do at the clinic. We do an immense amount of events outside of our building 
whether that be education, continuing education, talking to groups, going to sporting events, talking to the players, or just to the general public and doing some type of an education so they know what chiropractic can offer. With the whole opioid crisis that everybody sees in the news nowadays, we've really learned that musculoskeletal injuries and issues should not have a first line of defense with a drug. And that's what we're really trying to push the public to. So having a higher utilization, one, increases the safety for patients, has better outcomes, and two, their long-term outcomes are better with that. The best thing for the patient then in the end is the cost saving to that. Interesting, interesting. So you, you mentioned something there. In, you, you, you mentioned sports. Yep. But then you also mentioned, yeah. I, I, so as much as chiropractic is diverse, it sounds like your audience or your clients or your patients, however you want to define that, uh, come in a diverse sect as well. Would, would that be a correct statement? Yeah, very much so. Just this morning, I had uh, pregnant patients that had sciatica to an 84 year old farmer who has terrible degenerative joint disease, ruptured discs, uh, bad what you would kind of consider musculoskeletal complaints up to a 12 year old who injured their shoulder and neck playing volleyball in the sand. Interesting, interesting. So if there is one thing that, you, that seems like a constant theme or a, a, a steady theme among these diverse uh, clients and whatnot that you have of, I wish they would understand this about chiropractics. Do you have a, a, a what would that be? The biggest thing is that maintaining your spinal and nervous system health for your life is going to reap rewards exponentially in the long run. Mm. That disability from some type of spinal issue or nervous system issue is astronomical in the time, cost, and suffering it has for the latter half of patient's life. So if we can keep that functioning to its best in the first third to half of your life, it will be exponentially more beneficial to them in the end. Very well said. Do you have a, like, I... I... I'm kind of putting you on the spot here just a little bit, but do you have like a case study or something where you personally have seen someone who have cho who has chosen to take care of the body versus another person that chose not to and where we can kind of like parallel what happened to them in the long term? You know, there's an immense amount of case studies that look at sedentary lifestyle. And that's where I always steal a uh, quote from another physician in Rapid City. Motion is lotion for your joints. If you're not moving mm. them, you're in trouble. And with the sedentary lifestyle that most Americans have, that's where the start of the downward slide goes for. The more active, the more moving we can keep people, the better they're going to do. I don't know of one specific off the top of my head. But if you get on pubmed.gov and just put in a basic search, I mean, there is unlimited amount. So I, I've heard two, two things here. Um, number one, moving is critical to wellness. Absolutely. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah. And then the other thing that I heard was if we take care of our body, our body is more likely to be able to take care of us. Yes, very much so. So those are two really crucial points I can see. Is there any other, you know, golden nugget like those that you brought forward that you would want the Rapid City audience and beyond to hear about? Oh, the biggest thing would just be having an active lifestyle. The more active that we can have people, the better they're going to be. But it hurts to move. Get in to see your chiropractor. There you go. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so 
basically what what you you take a person that has been that's you know has has a lot of pain and whatnot come in for those chiropractic appointments come in keep your schedule keep your plan keep your system and even though it hurts to move what i hear you saying then is eventually you'll start to being able to reverse situations or at least improve situations so that it will hurt less to move and therefore as you move more you're going to be benefiting yourself in the long term absolutely you know, we always use an exercise analogy in the clinic for the first time we've seen a patient just like the first couple times you go to the gym and you exercise you probably don't feel the best you've ever felt after those those first couple of weeks are always the biggest struggle you're sore things hurt they might be flared up a little bit more but very often with most patients the more we can keep your mobility up the better you're going to do in the long run so um excellent excellent thank you for sharing that um how do people find where you're at so we have a website it's www.bhhwc.com black hills health and wellness center and then on most of the internet searches the phone books you know pretty typical how anybody would look for their dentist their optometrist or any other medical profession you'll find us listed the same way and then your address to get a little bit more specific thank you for the website that's excellent um I'll get a little bit more specific where in rapid are you so we're kind of right in the middle of rapid city we are at 1220 mount rushmore road it's a big tan drive it building and we are the upstairs suite uh so upstairs how would the parking handle then if that were the case uh you would come by around off the side street and park in the back parking lot there below us is the south dakota school of nursing so if you're down in the nursing uh, education area you're in the wrong part of the building right unless you want right. to be a nurse gotcha now um is there anything that before somebody comes that they should know that is unique in how black hills health and wellness um, addresses or handles things or works with things as compared to other chiropractics, uh, your, your, you know, your other chiropractic uh, people that are in rapid, are, are, is there anything specific that they would need to know about related to working with Black Hills Health and Wellness? No, if you have been to a chiropractor before, it would probably be somewhat of a similar experience. We have a rather large practice. There's four doctors in there, the massage therapy department, the rehab department, uh, all of our front office staff. So there might be just a little bit more people around than you're typically used to, but that would probably be the only thing. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I, I'm gonna ask one question because what about do you create like a plan for people and, and want them to like follow a plan or am i incorrect on that yep so most patients will have some uh treatment plan everybody's gotcha. going to be a little bit different just depending on their exam their history the consultation that they have with the chiropractor or uh their complaints even to what they were looking for in the clinic gotcha so you know we've covered a lot of ground here in a in a very short time i thank you for that dr jamie um is there anything else that you feel like within rapid you would want people to know about as it relates to the practice as it relates to the doctors as it relates to yourself um within the practice is there anything uh, any other takeaway that you would want to make sure that they understand uh, not so much for the clinic. I mean, if you have any questions or if anybody has something that they would like to talk to us about, by all means, just come stop by the clinic or give us a call. I mean, the best thing you could possibly do is probably just come in and see what we do. Okay. Now, you did mention another theme there, and we haven't covered that yet. Give you a call. How does that work? What so number clinic, do I call? You can give us a call at 605-341-7500. And can you go over that one more time? 605-341-7500. Excellent. Excellent. And Any they'll closing? just take care of you from there. Awesome. Any closing thoughts before we wrap this up? Get outside and get moving. 
There you go. There you go. Dr. Jamie, thank you for your time today. Thank you for uh, being the most important part of this Graceful Touch Interviews Rapid City moment. And um, if, if people would like to interview and, and have this uh, for themselves, just get a hold of me. Uh, I'm uh, Guy Severson with Graceful Touch, and uh, we'll set up an interview for you as well, because our goal is to help Rapid City recover and move forward with momentum. Thank you, Dr. Jamie, for your time today. Yeah, have a great day. You too. This conference will now be recorded. Uh,